What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Slice Guy Lenore back on another video and today I got my guy Mario in the chair. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to do a no guard drop fade blend and how to apply enhancements all within 8 minutes. First we're going to start off by shaping up the top because he wanted to cut down some. Okay so I already sit in my ball guideline now I'm working on my second guideline which is the last guideline I will use with my lever open on my babyless FX clippers and I'm sitting in this guideline like a half inch wide and I'm blending it out I want to keep it low because this is a drop fade so you don't want to take it too high and how I'm blending out this guideline is starting with my lever fully open and working my way down in notches closing it little by little until I reach the bottom of that guideline now I'm using my tiger claw method I use that method with the lever fully open to help lay down those hairs before I start flicking at that line. And to me, I always laying the hair down before using this no guard method is the best key. Uh, whether that's you using a guard previously before you start the fading process or you like me and doing a tire claw method before you actually start trying to use no guards. And right here I'm using clipper overcome which people would might call cheating. Uh, when it comes to no guards but this actually a skill too and i'm getting some of the dark spots this inside the top of the fade without cutting too much off uh, and i'm using a lot of corner work hitting certain spots you gotta have that i 40 blend and this how nice blends like this come out right here i'm going with the grain with the number one guard with the lever closed on the mustache and on the front line, my client don't really like to get his line tapered down, so uh, I just combed all the long hairs down, and I'm going across, straight across, starting in the middle, working my way to the left side. As you can see, I just went up and down with my trimmers in the middle to help clean up the widow's peak area. The other hairs on the left and right are longer hairs that I combed down previously to overlap the hairline. At this moment, I'm using my straight razor to put a nice natural line on his beard. I start from the top and then I stretch the skin as I work my way down. And to help with it, I will have him apply air to his jaw for a closer, cleaner shave. As you can see, my client has lots of hints of gray, some in his hairline area, in his beard area, in his mustache. So it might be a lot of hairs that you guys don't see that I'm seeing. And I'm putting a solid line on it uh, just because it's white or gray uh, don't mean I can go against it or cut it too far. You want to keep it natural as possible no matter the color. This most definitely was a solid haircut without enhancements, like completely natural. It was perfectly fine, uh, but my client, he liked the enhancement look. It gives off this superstar look when done correctly, and it's perfectly fine. I know it's a lot of enhancement haters out there, and... I don't understand why if it's not being done to you like you don't like enhancements just don't get enhancements like it's simply as there is no need to be hating on other people that get it or trying to downplay barbers because they use it as long as the haircut is solid like this one was before enhancements it's perfectly fine i had a lot of people in the comments uh of a lot of my videos telling me to get an airbrush and i guess because they have one in their arsenal and they want me to show them how I will use it 
and I'm using a Kiss Express and alcohol mixture in the airbrush. Uh, and I'm just applying it lightly, basically. I really only like using it as a base for clients with light spots. In this case, my client, he does have a few light spots and also gray hairs that make it appear to be a light spot. So I'm lightly spraying it. I don't like spraying it too heavy, especially because it give out this shiny look. I'm more of a mattish look type guy when it comes to enhancements because that's the most natural look to me compared to a shiny look. That's why I will be coming behind this with hair fibers to quiet that shiny look down from the Kiss Express. Right here, I'm attacking the beard. Uh, I'm getting it right at that beard line. Like I said, he has a lot of gray hair, so it might look like I'm doing it on the skin, but I'm not. Of course, he had a light spot in the jaw area right over the mustache. That's exactly where his mustache is. He has some gray areas on top of that mustache. Uh, but I'm just trying to let you guys know that I'm just not putting it on his face like this actually where to line it uh, So this how you want to apply your enhancements exactly where it's at and here I am coming behind the hairline With the uh, fibers to quiet that shiny look down from the Kiss Express And voila, it's looking more natural and that's exactly how I would like it Now, of course, after using the hairspray to lock in those enhancements, I came behind it with the blow dryer to freeze it. I'm going back in with my Mike Tyson boys to re-crispify the hairline, make sure everything intact, and just give it that oomph, you know what I mean? Like, it's just something about going back over the hairline just makes it stands out. Like this corner, like watch this corner at the top of this edge of you finna see how it just hit different after I go over it. So, right there, right there. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like it just hit different. The, like the angles, all that, like it matters. So make sure you always go back over the hairline. And I'm not saying like go back to push something back. Go back over it and keep it exactly where it was. Just re crispified. That is a word that need to be in a dictionary. I made it. I need to get paid for it. Cause this, this what's going on. No cap, re crispified. Now I'm hitting it with the sponge to finish off this look. One thing about shaping up the head before sponging it it just give off a cleaner sponge you see what i'm saying like it looks cleaner it don't look like your roots fully showing and stuff like that it just give out that clean like you just get out the chair look youtube y'all know what to do it's your boy slice guy lenore like comment subscribe let me know what y'all think about the haircut i appreciate y'all for tapping in more videos on the way 2000 subscribers on the way let's go